Bringing the Truth Ministries presents Discerning the Jezebel Spirit. The Jezebel spirit is born out of witchcraft and rebellion, and is one of the most common spirits in operation today. It is a powerful enemy of the body of Christ, the church. It operates freely on even sincere believers whose hearts are for God individually and has also attained positions of power within churches. In the secular world, these people are often thought to suffer from narcissistic personality disorder, paranoia, and are often labeled as psychopaths or just plain nasty, arrogant, or even plain evil. Yet the most accurate and complete description of the characteristics of these people is to be found within a spiritual context. This particular spirit, though only one of many malicious spirits, establishes its stronghold primarily in women. However, many men have been victimized by it as well where it functions as a controlling spirit. In the wake of every person controlled by the Jezebel spirit is a life of chaos, confusion, instability, broken relationships, and destruction. Every person that ever came into close contact with it has seen aggressive attempts to divide their relationships with their loved ones. While Jezebel's belief system is incorrect, they are very firmly held beliefs. Jezebels are usually people of deep convictions. As mentioned, many people controlled by the Jezebel spirit have a true heart for God and earnestly desire to serve him. The original Jezebel, the spirit's first noteworthy victim, Queen of Israel, was devotedly religious, but was at total enmity with God. She worshiped at the altar of Baal, worship of the flesh. Modern day Jezebels may indeed believe they are serving the one true God. However, the true hidden agenda is self-worship. As Fushia Pickett points out in her book, The Next Move of God, the Jezebel spirit's mission is to kill the prophets, as it tried and often has throughout time. The goal of the victim is usually quite different, to gain identity, glory, recognition, power, and satisfy the need for acknowledgement and worth from others. In other words, the praise of men. Matthew chapter 6, 2, 5, and 16. This is an outgrowth of desire for love and self-worth we all have with the wrong focus, self. As a secondary mission, the Jezebel spirit seeks to emasculate all men or divest them of their authority and power over others. 
It fosters a distrust and or hatred of men in general and nurtures motives of vengeance in the victim towards some men in particular, usually as a result of abuse or neglect by a significant male in the victim's life. We attach a female gender to this spirit, but really it has no gender. It is a sea thing, terribly aggressive, very determined, callous, controlling, narcissistic, power hungry, manipulative, unrepentant, deceitful, and overwhelmingly evil spirit. And those are mostly only its good points. This spirit is definitely Satan's woman. Probably most deceiving to many is that Jezebel was religious and did religious things. She was the daughter of Ethabel, meaning with Baal. She converted her husband Ahab to follow Baal. Ahab married her against God's command. The name Jezebel specifically means without dwelling or habitation. A true explanation of Jezebel can clearly be described as the worship of self. The clear battle with the Jezebel spirit is over people. In the church, that spirit desires to rule and control the people of God. If we are not people of decision, we will fall under the spell of the Jezebel spirit. She is a supporter of and heavily influential in religious organizations as well as politics. While Jezebel is religious, she wells her false power against the true prophetic flow of God. She hates the prophets and all prophetic ministries. Specifically, she hates repentance, humility, and intercessory prayer because they destroy her strongholds of stubbornness and pride. Jezebel's love to project a sense of power they do not have. It is based on intimidation in order to cloud the minds of those they desire to oppress. How frequently that spirit tries to wield influence in the church, in spiritual organizations? If you don't see it my way, I will just pull out and you can't deal without me and all the work I prepared, I will keep. Yes, if one does not go along with his or her actions, there will be consequences. Intimidation always seek to move the person through threats. This use of fear puts the victim under control out of fear of losing something precious to him. This is blackmail, ladies and gentlemen, and far from God's love because these are all improper channels, use of illegitimate power and authority, projection of power that is not ours to use, this by no means insinuates that a person shouldn't stand up for himself, but rather that it should be done through proper channels. Manipulating, intimidating, and dominating another human being are blatant uses of control and illegitimate authority. Jezebel uses other people as objects where it suits her need to gain control, influence, and power. Once she has gained the control desired, she generally rejects and tosses the people aside. If they are in her family, she does this emotionally. 